New this morning, firefighters battling that blaze on Merriman Avenue. Yeah, we're continuing to follow that breaking news. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live there at the scene where the building is burning. And Victoria, you actually found out that two people were in the building when that fire started. Exactly. We were able to talk to one of the two people who were renting an apartment in the back of the building here. This is at 504 Marion. You can see pretty much the back of the building is gone. We're going to have uh, an interview with one of the men who rented that apartment up there in, in our next half hour. But what I can tell you right now is, as you can see, we were saying it was near the Ace of Spades tattoo shop. That's here, this first building closest to me. Then there's the empty lot, which may be protecting the Ace of Spades location. Then they've got this building, and I've been told that on the first floor, uh, when the firefighters got here, they had their hands full with lots of flames. Let me show you some of the video that we sent back in from earlier, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the building. On the first floor, I've been told that there is a consignment store there, and at this point, there is definitely heavy damage. I don't know if it's burned out completely. The apartment was on the second floor. It was one unit, two people renting that. It is pretty much destroyed the top part of this building and down into the back. What we're also being told is that at one point, the firefighters were given the word to get out from inside the building and fight it from a defensive position. And that comes when they believe that there are situations oftentimes that I've got to work to confirm that that is the exact reason for the call. But a lot of times they make that call when the structure itself starts to become unstable. Coming up in our next half hour, I am going to let you know what one of the men who was running the apartment had to say when we spoke to him just a few minutes ago. I did just see the Red Cross here on the scene, so I'm going to gather up some more information. But right now, what you need to know is that the road is closed here on Merriman Avenue from Murdoch Avenue down to W.T. Weaver Boulevard. It's just one block, but this is such a busy stretch of highway. Make your plans to make a different route to heading into work or school or wherever you're heading this morning. Live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. More on the breaking news we were just mentioning to you. Firefighters battling a structure fire on Merriman Avenue this morning. That's right. Let's go back out live to News 13's Victoria Dunkel. Vic, what can you tell us now? Well, we're actually coming up on the third hour of them working to get this fire to be a thing of the past. It has been burning solid for about three hours now. Just moments ago, I saw more flames coming out of the roof. You can see where they're spraying water off the top there right now. That was where the hot spot was, and they were having flare-ups just a couple of moments ago. This fire here is at 504 Marion. You can see one side of the building is adjacent to an empty lot. On the other side, there is a smaller building attached. What we understand now is it's been contained at this point to this central building at 504. That happens to be, as we take a look at some of the video from earlier this morning, uh, when the fire started just around 330, we saw that the fire was burning from the back of the building forward. And that happens to be where an apartment was, and that is where Corey Thompson uh, woke up this morning, he wanted to get a snack, went into his kitchen and started to smell the smoke. And that's when he decided he needed to get out of the building. I don't know who called them because as soon as I went outside looking to see what was going on, there was already a fire truck outside and I pointed them towards the direction my roommate would be and they were off. Back out here live, we are watching as the crews are trying to work on the hot spots, get this under control. Now, we were told earlier, about an hour after they got here, they were, the crews were given orders to get out of the building and re regroup and fight it from a defensive position. Um, we are also being told the American Red Cross has been here to talk with Corey and his roommate. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear a little more from them, including just how much they lost. I do know that they were college students, and uh, there was a lot of important information in that apartment for them. Uh, we'll hear more from them in our next half hour. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Thanks, Jay. We're continuing to follow the breaking news we first brought you this morning at 4.30. Firefighters remain on the scene of a fire in, on Merriman Avenue. And that's where News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live. And Victoria, we've seen a lot of smoke coming from the building. What's happening where you are now? Well, they're starting to get things a little bit better uh, handle on this situation here. Right now, I just spoke with the fire crews, and they were telling me they have this fire under control, but we're three and a half hours into this firefighting effort. And as you can see, they're nowhere near being done for their uh, jobs here. One witness told us it looked like the fire started in the back corner of the building over there. We've got some video of what happened when we first arrived on the scene. And here's what we know. They got the call around 3 o'clock this morning. Crews tell us when they got here, the building was full of flames. And that is what led to some challenges. They had to really work hard to get an extra amount of water in here to get these flames under control. So it took them a little bit longer on that front. They say that this building pretty much is a loss. Everything inside is gutted out. We are told that on the 
first floor of the building, there was some sort of store, maybe a thrift shop consignment store. We're working to get the name of that business for you. But on the second story of the floor was an apartment. And we, uh, one of the people who lived in that apartment, Corey Thompson, spoke with us. He and his roommate were there when this fire started. I lost, I guess, my clothes, my computer, all my school supplies and work. And we really just want our cat Fuzzy to be okay. I did check with the firefighters to see if they've seen any sign of fuzzy around. They said they have not noticed any animals yet. Hopefully they will get good news regarding their cat. And uh, the other aspect, though, is he's right. It looks like he has lost everything. The American Red Cross has been out here and has helped both Corey and his roommate. They are now uh, being sheltered and taken care of in that front. I was talking to the crews here. And uh, Brina Williams, who's with the uh, Buncombe, Asheville Buncombe Arson Task Force, said that they're going to be here for most of the day trying to figure out exactly what happened. They really didn't have any early uh, estimates as to what may have caused this fire. Right now, they're working to put out the hot spots. They've got crews that have been cycling through. 13 different fire crews have been here on the scene. News 13 will continue to follow this story. We'll let you know what happens as they work to finally get the flames out and then start the process of figuring out exactly how this fire started here on Merriman Avenue. All right, let's get you back to that breaking news. Firefighters are still on the scene of the fire on Merriman Avenue. Yeah, we'll take you out to Victoria Dunkel right there. Tell us what's going on now, Vic. Well, we're seeing a few things come to light as the sun is coming up today. This is here on the corner of Murdoch and Merriman Avenue. You can see that the building 504 Merriman has been burning since about 3 o'clock this morning. Two people were inside when this fire started. Uh, two college students who rented an apartment on the second floor. At one point, the roof partially collapsed. Fire crews pulled them out, uh, pulled the crews out to make sure they could fight it from the outside safely. Right now, they have it under control. News 13 will be following this story for you. I can tell you no one has been hurt at this point. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.